So with emoji wallpapers, you choose your favorite combination of emoji, pick the perfect pattern, and then find just the right color to bring them all together. So let's take a look. And I'm not going to use the laptops. I'm going to use a phone. All right. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to go into the wallpaper picker. And I'm going to tap on the new option for emojis. And I'm feeling in a kind of, I don't know, zany mood with all you people looking at me. So I'm going to pick uh, this guy and this guy. And uh, let's see, who else is in here? This one looks pretty cool, like the 8-bit one. And then obviously that one. Uh, and uh, somebody said there was a duck on stage earlier. So let's go find a duck. Uh, hello, duck. Where's the duck? Can anyone see a duck? Where's the duck gone? There's a duck. All right, there he is. We got some ducks. OK, cool. And then uh, pattern-wise, uh, we've got a bunch of different patterns you can pick. Um, I'm going to pick mosaic. That's my favorite. Then I'm going to play with the zoom. Let's see. We'll get this just right. OK, I got enough ducks in there. OK, cool. And then colors. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, that pops. Uh, <laughs> let's go with a more muted one. Uh, or maybe that one. That one looks good. That looks good. I like that one. All right, select that. Set the wallpaper. And then I go home. Looks pretty cool, huh? And uh, the, little, the little emojis, they react when you tap them, which I find. <laughs> I, fi I find this unusually satisfying. And uh, how much time have I got? OK, no, OK, let me move on. Uh, OK, so <laughs> of course, many of us like to use a favorite photo for our wallpaper. And so with the new cinematic wallpaper feature, you can create a stunning 3D image from any regular photo and then use it as your wallpaper. So let's take a look. So this time, I'm going to go into my photos. And I really like this photo of my daughter. So let me select that. And you'll notice there's a sparkle icon at the top. So if I tap that, I get a new option for cinematic wallpaper. So let me uh, activate that and then wait for it. Boom. OK. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. So then let me set the, photo, set the wallpaper, and then I'm going to return home. And check out the parallax effect as I tilt the device. It literally jumps off the screen. So both cinematic wallpapers and emoji wallpapers are coming first to Pixel devices next month. So let's say you don't have the perfect wallpaper photo handy, or you just want to have fun and create something new. With our new generative AI wallpapers, you choose what inspires you, and then we create a beautiful wallpaper to fit your vision. So let's take a look. So this time, I'm going to go and select Create a Wallpaper with AI. And I like classic arts. So let me tap that. Now, you'll notice at the bottom, we use structured prompts to make it easier to create. So for example, I can pick, uh, what am I going to do? City by the Bay in a uh, post-impressionist style. Cool. And I type, tap Create Wallpaper. Nice. Now, behind the scenes, we're using Google's text-to-image diffusion models to generate completely new and original wallpapers. And I can swipe through and see all the different options that it's created. And some of these look really cool, right? Uh, so let me, let me pick this one. I like this one. So I'll select that, set the wallpaper, and then return home. Cool. So now, out of the billions of Android phones in the world, no other phone will be quite like mine. And thanks to Material U, you can see that the system's color palette is automatically adapted to match the wallpaper I created. Generative AI wallpapers will be coming this fall.